Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm back with part two on the Boho Journal series. We're going to work on some ephemera today, I think. Let's say hi and hugs before we get started to Joanne, Joan, Dream, and Jamie. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay. So last time, let's just move you over for a minute. Last time we were working on this little um, four pocket, no, five pocket woven pocket. <laughs> I don't know what I called it. Uh, and um, we got the tags done was all we really got done. And I was thinking it'd be fun to put some trim on here because, you know, this journal is going to be all about the bling and so I'm just trying to decide do I want it on I think I might want it on the top do I want it on the top I think I do okay I'm gonna cut this because it's kind of frayed on that end and then it's like about right here on this end Okay, this, um, uh, that trim is from the Snippet Shop on Etsy. Do my best to get everybody on here that, you know, that I need to. Um, yeah, so anyway, she has amazing trims over there, so... Her name is Eve, and she's lovely. So, if you're looking for yourself some fancy trams, go on over and see her. Okay, I am going to put that on. But then, I'm going to put a little bit of the Fabri-Tac just on these ends because they just are wanting to kind of come apart since I cut them that would be why <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and make sure nothing comes apart let me grab a little something to wipe off there and then then we're going to call this one done. Put a little dot right there too. Okay, so that little pocket is done. And I love it. I think it's really cute. Love those. Love the bright tags. Okay, so that pocket's done. Oh, I was going to show you. Um, I had made this from a wine sack and... Um, I did that over on Patreon, but I really liked the colors of this and everything. And then it says travel, travel light, live light, spread the light, be the light. And, you know, gypsies travel. So I thought that this might be good. So I grabbed it to put in. Okay, we still have these to decorate, but I had an idea and I want to... Do it before, before I forget I had this idea. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if I can show you. I think I can. I think I have one here, but um, hang on one second. Yes. Nope. Nope. Oh, maybe I used them all. Well, I don't have one. But you'll see what I'm going to do. Um, it's one of Corey Dahman's ideas for pockets. And um, so I think I am going to do that. I'll show you. It's a multiple pockets. Multiple po Excuse me. Multiple pockets on a page. Apparently speaking is giving me difficulty today. Okay, and I think I'm going to cut this back. 
that right here. Um, let's see, I'll need three of these, I think. This is kind of a stacked pocket, if you will. And I was thinking about, I love these, but I was thinking, what could I do in this journal that, that way? And I was like, oh, I have my boho painted papers. So that'll work. Isn't this fun? <laughs> yes, I probably should have cut them beforehand, but you know, this wasn't quite that prepared. So, let's do it now. So, if you want to see how to do these, um, painted papers I think I have on I mean if you if you search Gail Augustinelli painted papers I'm sure you'll come up with it probably the easiest way okay alrighty then we are going to do this thing don't need that one um, I think I'm going to use this as kind of a template so I want to put this one or this one on the bottom. So I am going to I'll maybe cut it right at that line. That'd be right. Yeah. Cut it right here. And we'll have a little piece to play with somewhere else. Um, and then I think I'm going to use my scoreboard to kind of score them. So I'm going to kind of go at about you, I don't know, three eighths of an inch ish. Over here at about three eighths, three eighths ish, and then maybe we'll go a half inch down here. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it over and just cut these at an angle. Okay, so now on our paper, let's just make sure it fits. <laughs> Ooh, nope. Nope, it sure doesn't. Oh well, no worries there. We'll just we'll just uh, give this a new score mark into about here. No big deal. Now we fit. Okay. Just going to re recut that so that it's going to fold okay. So we just have a little bit bigger side on one side. You know what I could do is cut that. I think I will just for ease of creation here.
So this is the time of day when I'm usually walking outside, but it's going to be 100 today. So I said no thank you <laughs> to the walk. Okay, so now I'm going to... Um, Gonna take this. I really like that. And I'll cut it about there. I'll cut it about there. Ish. Oh. it lengthwise first. Cut it about right there. Because I want to keep that intact. Okay. So then I said I was going to cut it right about here, I think. Okay. So now This is going to be a pocket on here. So once again, I'm going to go, I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch on this one. Quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch. And half an inch on the bottom. Okay. else I wanted to do. I wanted to grab some blue fern paper that I think would go pretty well with this. Okay, so we have this pocket on there. Then we're going to put this pocket here-ish. And then actually I don't know that I need that. I could use this one. And... I'm going to cut that. Um, along about here. It's a fun piece. And then um, maybe about right about here. Did I say these were on my on my Etsy, these painted papers? Yeah, if you want to learn how to do them yourself, you can search Gail Augustinelli painted papers. If you don't want to, you can just buy the digital. And, um, and that works too. So now, I think we've got it. By George, I think we've got it. Now, we could put thumb holes in this. I don't know that I want to, though. So then that one's going to go here. Okay, cool. As long as they're going to fit. That's the main thing. Because I've already got my signature sewn in, you know. So should we decide, let's decide where we want to put these in here. I mean, these plain pages would be good. You know what I could do is I could do this on this page. 
And then we could use one of the scraps and just make a little pocket here. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, cool. Let's get out the art glitter. Let me say on this video, I know I'll be telling you a million times, but the topper of this, this part is a knitting needle cap from the knitting department of Hobby Lobby. I have stuck the uh, a pin dangle through the knitting needle cap. Pin dangles are available on Etsy. That one was a gift to me from Shell, the uh, rambling crafter. But there's lots of sellers of the pin dangles on Etsy. That's probably my most asked question <laughs> is what is that that you have on the top of your glue? <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm going to put this towards the bottom. So if we want something to kind of um, stick up at the stick out at the top, we can. Okay, and then we'll put this one on. Um, when Corey Dahman did this idea, she used different book pages. So they were all kind of all different colors of book pages. And I've done that too and love that. I think that may have been one of the projects that did in my hand because I was doing so much distressing. I made a bunch of them and because um, I wanted to use them in a lot of different journals. And I think I'm out of them now because <laughs> I looked in my spot and there wasn't one there. So I think I may be maybe to the point of needing to do more of those. But it was one of those weekend projects that I did my slow stitch challenge, which I'm not doing anymore, as you may know, because of my hand. Um, but I did that, and then I did a bunch of distressing, and then I couldn't move my hand. <laughs> okay, let's put you right there. Well, if that isn't bright and happy, I don't know what is. Okay, I think that I might do some more decorating on that, but let's do a pocket to cover up my Easter eggs. <laughs> um, I like the idea of this one with the that. So I think I'm going to go about to that line. Here. And I, I'm debating again, do I want to um, put a thumb hole, but I don't think I do because I like the, I like this. So I don't think I'm going to. Okay, just going to put this on. This one's not going to have gussets. Just going to put it on plain like. We'll have to put something flat in there, kind of. But from Easter to Boho, just like that. <laughs> Ooh. Now, I did grab I did grab some of my Mrs. Coggs has Gypsy Ladies. And I'm wondering hmm should have made it bigger, or should have made it a little smaller. I don't know. Ooh, I could do her and kind of cut off a little bit of the sky on there. Um, so, what else would I... Well, let's, let's cut this down and then let's ink it and see what we think and I think 
I think I'm going to use black ink in this project. Um, yeah, see, that'll fit on there. Let me grab me black ink. Okay. And we'll just kind of lightly go around the edge. Okay, like that. I'm deciding do I want anything in back of her, but I don't think I do because it would then, then it would cover up any of this. So let's just put her on there. And then I think I'm going to, bling them up a little bit. little girl there and then let's see I think I might use several colors of these okay I'm gonna go And I just want the green. I'm going to put that across there. We'll just go dots on each one. Can she do this without getting all gluey? Probably not. There we go. Okay. There's the green. Um, and then I think I'll put, let's see, I have red. The other ones I have are red, kind of turquoise. I think, okay. I'm going to put the red on this one. And I'm just going to set this in my ephemera bucket for, for later. That and when I cut this off. Okay. Gosh, it's so crazy to have it so nice out and be inside, but I uh, don't know. Hundreds a little too much for me. <laughs> My husband's gone. He's over at the school working on something. And so I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go straight down to my craft room and work on the boho journal. Turn on my friends. <laughs> work on my boho journal. Okay, this one I'm going to do the... Ooh, that one's loose. Look at that. Okay, I am going to do 
these uh, pretty turquoise ones. Okay. Okay, well, I'll get all that together, I guess. Okay. And then we might ask ourselves, sorry, I have this right up to my face so I can see. <laughs> um, then we might ask ourselves, what do we want on this? Because I want it to be a little more blingy than it is. Um, I wonder... You want to just put some of those down the side like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. I usually work in threes and fives and everything, so the twos feel a little weird to me, but, but we'll go with it. Okay, so we want basically a strip down here. And a strip right here. Okay, well that's all blinged up. Okay, okay, well that's real fun. That's fun spread, I love that. Okay, talk amongst yourselves for a moment. I'm gonna go grab that other paper if I can. Quick lack. Um, oh man. Okay, hang on, people. Here we go. Got it. Got it, got it. It's um, Eclectic Charm by Blue Fern Studios. And, you know, it's real... It's the darker colors and stuff. And so I thought... It might be kind of fun. And look, it's got some journal cards and stuff. So I'm going to keep that out just in case we need a little something there. Because I did want to do one of the... That's what... Is that what this is? Hmm. I don't think so. Okay, it's like the There's another one. That is, um, hang on, hang on. Huh. Okay, guys, well, I'm not finding it at the moment. I'll keep looking. I feel like this is a different, a different one. Anyway. Some of that will work. So the other thing that I wanted to make, and I haven't I haven't made it before, so you might have to bear with me. Um, but I kind of want to put stuff on these blank pages somewhat. Do we have any of this that will? That will go with that over there. I mean, I do like this blue, but it's too big. I'd have to cut it down. I'm just taking a look, see here. Ooh, that could be pretty. Let's use that one. Okay. Okay, so this is a pocket that my pal Candace at Journal Me Crazy had in my in my Yoda book. And so I wanted to give it a try. Um, so first thing we're going to do is do the base. And I kind of want it to take up most of this page. 
So I am going to say right here, especially once I get my lead out, <laughs> get the lead out, Gail. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just let's see. I am gonna go this way first. Nope, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna take the branding strip off. And then as you know, I try to leave the biggest scrap that I can when I cut. And it does make it does make a difference when you cut if you um, if you look, so see, this is going to be the biggest piece left. If I cut here, it's only going to be this big. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it here. And then I'll cut it the short way right here. Okay. Okay. So that's the base and then what she did was she took little strips and put them like this and made pockets and it was so super cute. So do we want it that wide? I don't think I want it quite that wide. I think I want it. This is about five and a half, maybe five. And we probably want them like two inches at most. Okay. Two inches. So if we cut this at six inches and I think I want this side because it has more variety this part right here okay so six these are scrap and then so six and then I wanted it what did I say five inches I think That's fun scrap right there. <laughs> I know it's weird, but I get as excited about the scraps as anything. Let's, you know, gotta do it this way. So two. And two. And two. Okay, so then how she put it was like this, like this, like this, and like this. Might have made them too big, or I had them too wonky. Like that, something like that. Put offset them a bit. Okay, like that. Now she sewed around them, and I think I want to do that. I guess I better ink them. Oh yeah, black was a good choice for this. I don't know why, but this black ink pad literally has lasted me years. It's the most juicy, distressing pad I've ever had in my life. I wish, <laughs> wish my vintage photo would last me this long. But I mean, it's still super juicy and this works great. So, I don't know, these are a bit long, I think, and I need to spread those out.
but I think it will still work. It'll be the wonky gale version of the cute version that, that Candace did in my um, Yoda journal. Okay. So... You know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to give these a bit of a glue in place so they do what I, so they're where I want them. And then we'll sew around them afterwards. Doesn't matter. The back, I think I'm going to have this be a side pocket too. So. I tried to leave that where I had it. And of course it didn't work. Okay. tiny dot of glue there just to, so they stay put when I'm trying to sew them. Maybe I'll put this one on and then I can adjust the middle one. How's that for a strategy? That's my strategy. I'm sticking to it. Super pretty paper, huh? This one's a little too, but that's okay once it gets stuff in it. Perfection's not the goal, right? Thanks for reminding me. Okay, so we better let that sit, but I think I'm going to sew um, around this with a straight stitch, and then I'll zigzag or something around these, and then we'll, find, then we'll put it on our page. Okay, cool. Meanwhile, oh my gosh, time flies. Uh, meanwhile, we have these two to do, and this is going to be a sideways belly band. And so it can have a whole bunch of, let's look at our trims. Um, let's look at these trims and see. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So pretty. I mean... I'm looking more at size right now. Width, I guess you could say. To see what could... Oh, I mean, seriously, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I gotta do it. Oh, but then I have these. <laughs> Too many choices. Oh, these are thicker, so that's okay. Okay. All right. Let's. I'm going to have the same issue with this one as I did the other one in terms of making sure that it's stuck down, you know, so that the edges don't unravel and stuff. Let's see. We're going to want Fabri-Tac for this. I mean, I was almost thinking this a little um I was almost thinking of a double belly band but I don't know if I want that much stress on the ends here I don't think I do okay we're just gonna go straight up glue her down and then by the time we get this done the other one should be ready to go so I'm just going to glue it along the 
ribbon to start. And then I'll go under those areas that are kind of threatening to come apart. Okay, super cute. See right here, this one's coming apart. So we're just going to stick that in there. This one. And then this. I'm just going to put a little dollop right there. Stick those two in. Okay. So there is our sideways belly band. Oh, that's real fun. I like that a lot. Okay. So then, look how pretty that looks together, too. Mm. I don't know. We might have to do those on opposite pages of one another. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my sewing machine over here. And we are going to sew this piece. Oops. Pulled my garbage can out earlier and now it's sticking. Okay, so I think first I'm just going to go around the whole thing with just a straight stitch, just all the way around. to lengthen my stitch and didn't do it but the blue fern paper is so sturdy and thick that it won't hurt my scissors okay and then I do want to shrink down my um, zigzag a little bit so we'll just start with the top one and I think I'm just gonna go over the edge Will that work I think so I'll show you in just a second. Let's get the other ones done. super happy with this. Thank you for the idea, Candace. It's so cute. Oops. I went the wrong way. Good thing I noticed that. Were you guys yelling at me? Cuz I did. I would I would have sewn my pockets. 
would have sewn it completely shut. Oh well, we can fix it. Too funny. Well, you know, it seems if it can be done, I will do it. <laughs> Good thing you guys are forgiving. Okay, so I so love this. And, you know, you can leave leave some threads if you want. I'm going to cut it off here. Okay, so can you see how cute that is? Just zigzagged around those. Yeah, really so pretty. Oh, got a couple of strings I didn't get. Okay. Okay, so we were thinking... We were thinking we were putting this here, right? But I wonder. Don't look as good there, does it? I was thinking about putting this over the gypsy song, but I need it more in the middle. Because the <laughs> I, it's, it, I, I'm just a crazy speller lady. Don't mind me. I mean, that's kind of nice with these purples and stuff. And then we could put this here. Let's do that. Let's do it. Because I really like that. <laughs> Loving it. Come on. Just going to be a little obstinate. I've been putting the lid back on religiously. <laughs> so I don't know why you're giving me grief. There we go. I may have a glue goober in there. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. Hmm. There we go. We're getting her. Oh, except then it just... I probably need to give it a clean. It's been going good for weeks and weeks. Maybe even months. Gosh, if my aim was any worse... Now be good. Okay. So that is going to go here. And then we can put a big journaling card in there. And then put little things in the pockets. Would that be fun? I think that would be fun. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to put this little belly band on. Oh, good grief. Well, I can tell what I'm going to do after this crafting session. I got to go run hot water through this guy. It's so funny because it doesn't feel like there's a darn thing in there. I just wonder if there's some thick glue at the top or something. There we go. There's some good glue coming out. Okay. So I have to go clear to the edge because of how this one is. Okay. Let's get our pin back in. Oh, I'm excited. Well, we got you know, four pages done. Is that right? Yeah, four. Get some cuteness. OK, 
Okay, that guy is still not sticking down quite like I'd like him to. I just don't, oh, I don't want him to catch and there, that should do it. Husband's home, can you hear him clomping upstairs? Clomp, clomp, clomp. Okay. I have to kind of hold that because I don't want that to stick to that. Isn't that cute though? And then, you know, and then we can just stick some little things in here. It's going to be super cute, I think. And now we can take, well, we have to still decorate this. I'll look for this paper too. I, it's not the same, but this worked out great. I'm glad we used that. Okay. Well, I am going to let y'all go and get on with your day. And I'm going to go wash out my glue bottle. <laughs> the tip of my glue bottle. So I hope you all have a grateful day. Thanks so much for watching. And um, we'll be continuing on with this series of uh, Boho. There'll be, there'll be fits and starts with my challenges and stuff. But um, there'll be... There'll be more in this series, many more. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.